Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over five clone fragrances that smell identical to the original. To start us off, we're going to be using one of the top clone fragrances out there, Afnan 9PM. Now I'm sure you all know of this fragrance. It's super popular, but for good reason. This is a clone of JPG Ultramel, which is about $150 fragrance. And this smells 95% similar for only 30 bucks. So the top notes in here are apple, cinnamon, wild lavender, and bergamot. The middle notes are orange blossom and lily of the valley. And the base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, amber, and patchouli. Now the prominent notes you're gonna get in here is that apple, the vanilla, a little bit of the cinnamon and tonka feel. But overall, it's just a super sweet fragrance. Let's give it a spray here. The atomizer isn't great, but that's what we expect for about a $30 fragrance. But off the top, super sweet. You get that apple, and as it dries down, you get more of this vanilla with some cinnamon and tonka. This is really good. If you've smelt John Pagoche Ultramel and you like it, definitely check this one out if you haven't already, because I'm sure you'll love it. And if not, if you like sweet fragrances and it's only 30 bucks, I'd say this is blind buy safe. Next up, we got a less known fragrance, and that is Sensual Obsessions Caribbean Waves. So this is a clone of, I also have it, Creed Virgin Island Water. Now, Central Obsessions was nice enough to send this to me, but I really love this fragrance. And Virgin Island Water is definitely my favorite Creed fragrance. It is a super tropical coconut rum lime fragrance that is perfect for hot summer days and vacations. Perfect beach kind of feel to it. And this is an expensive fragrance. Obviously, it's Creed. This is around $350 on discounters. Now, this is about $40, $50. This is only a 30 milliliter, but I know they do have 50 and 100 milliliters also of any fragrance they clone and have some originals, but they clone about any fragrance you can ever think of. If you'd like to try this or any other Central Obsessions fragrance out, the link will be in the description to their website and use code SIR10 for 10% off any order. But here, let's get into a little test here. I've already done it before. These are super close. Spray this onto this one, and this onto here. Let it sit for a sec, and let's compare. So off the top, I say it's about 80% similar, but as it dries down, they could become, I'd say 95, almost basically identical. The difference off the top is that Central Obsessions one has a little more lemon feel, while this has more of a lime, now, they're both citruses, but it is a noticeable difference. Nothing that'll completely throw you off or make you hate it. But if you do like the same DNA, Central Obsessions does it really good. And I think you should try this stuff out. Like I said, link in the description. Next on this list, we got Oud Satin by Ministry of Oud. Now, I'm sure you can tell what it's a clone of Oud Satin. It's a clone of MFK Oud Satin Mood, which is a super, super expensive fragrance, which is why I opted to get this instead. I'd love to get Oud Satin Mood one day, but for now, this will do the trick. Is this about 95% similar? I think this is one of the best formal fragrances you can get. And it's super close to Oud Satin Mood that for the price, this is, I got this for I think 35 bucks. And for a, even a 70 mil of Oud Satin Mood, probably around you about $400. So the notes in here is pretty simple. The top notes are Bulgarian Rose and Oud. The middle notes are Turkish Rose and Benzoin, and then the base notes are Violet and Vanilla. With the two Rose notes, you're obviously going to get the majority of that in the fragrance, but you also do get a heavy bit of this Vanilla with that Oud. And like I said, this is a perfect formal kind of date night, anytime you're in a suit, classy fragrance. One thing I just learned, it does say Paris Corner on the top here, so I guess Ministry of Oud is just a little sister brand of Paris Corner. Next up, we got Mason Alhambra Lovely Cherry. I don't even think I have to tell you what this is a clone of. They copied the bottle. It looks the exact same, but it's a clone of Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Now, obviously, this is a cherry fragrance, but there is kind of some depth to it. There's some almond, these kind of like gourmand, other gourmand notes. Actually, I'll read the notes out to you here. The top notes are bitter almond and rose. The middle notes are cherry, black cherry, and amber. And the base notes are tonka bean, toffee, and Peru balsam. Now, again, with the two cherry notes, the main thing you're going to get in here, but you do get that kind of almond, 
almost this kind of vanilla feel. It's like this candy cherry. And if you do like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry and you want something, this was only 30 bucks. I think it's being discontinued, but it does smell basically identical to the original. And if you'd like to try samples, check out my website, fragrancesearchshop.ca. I'll put the link in the description and use code YouTube10 for 10% off any order. This discontinued, so hard to find. And if you want to try it out, if you do like Tom Ford Lost Cherry, definitely this is a good option. Now, the downside to this is that it is a little feminine and also, the performance isn't great, but it is a great alternative to Tom Ford. It's about a tenth of the price, so if you do like cherry fragrances, try this one out. Now, for the fifth and final fragrance on this list, I was between the Tafa Fakar and Fomo Gary's then, but I thought this was not as known, so I'm going to go about this one. This is a clone of YSL EDP, which is also a great option. If you like that one, check it out. But this one, we're going to be going over Fomo Gary's Den. So this is from Fragrance by, I think they created their own fragrance line, and this is one of them. This is a clone of Dior Homme Parfum, which I have Dior Homme Intense. I don't have Dior Homme Parfum, but super classy masculine fragrances. This one, compared to Dior Homme Intense, is darker, a little richer, and about a fifth of the price. But the notes in here are, the top notes are lavender and bergamot. The middle notes are iris, labdanum, cardamom, coriander, and the base notes are musk, vanilla, vetiver, amber, patchouli, and cedarwood. If you like iris-based fragrances and like the DNA of Dior Homme Intense or Dior Homme Parfum, definitely check this one out. I do have a $5 coupon in the description for Fragrance Buy, which is where you can get this fragrance. So if you'd like to check that out, support me, get a little $5 coupon. I think if you love classy and iris-based fragrances, you will really enjoy this. For me, I love iris-based fragrances. This one isn't as powdery as you'll get in some other ones like Dior Intense, but it does kind of take this iris and make it a little darker. It's unique, super sharp. One of my favorite clone fragrances out there. Thank you all for watching. Please, if you got it this far, check out my website, link in the description, and check out my Fragrance by Coupon. Save yourself $5 off any order. And if you like these videos, please like, Comment your favorite clone fragrance and subscribe for more.